you have also said, Senator Vance, um, many things about the American family. The Federal Reserve says parents will spend nearly as much on child care as they do on housing each month. So I want to get your thoughts on this. Uh, President Trump recently said, as much as child care is talked about as being expensive, it's, relatively speaking, not very expensive compared to the kinds of numbers we'll be taking in. Is President Trump committed to the $5,000 per child tax credit that you have described? You have one minute. Well, what President Trump said, Margaret, I just want to defend my running mate here a little bit, is that we're going to be taking in a lot of money by penalizing companies for shipping jobs overseas and penalizing countries who employ slave laborers and then ship their products back into our country and undercut the wages of American workers. It's the heart of the Donald Trump economic plan. Cut taxes for American workers and American families. Cut taxes for businesses that are hiring and building companies in the United States of America, but penalize companies and countries that are shipping jobs overseas. That's the heart of the economic proposal. And I think what President Trump is saying is that when we bring in this additional revenue with higher economic growth, we're going to be able to provide paid family leave, child care options that are viable and workable for a lot of American families. Can you clarify how that will solve the child care shortage? Well, because, as Tim said, a lot of the child care shortage is we just don't have enough resources going into the multiple people who could be providing family care options. And we're going to have to, unfortunately, look, we're going to have to spend more money. We're going to have to induce more people to want to provide child care options for American families, because the reason it's so expensive right now is because you've got way too few people providing this very essential service.